Patterson's Curse has a huge impact on productivity, on farmland. As people can see, it's, it's a prolific spreader. It, it dominates the pasture areas, so the new pastures cannot germinate properly and they can't compete with the paddo. It starts as a very small rosehead sage and grows up to plants up to a metre and a half high. Patterson's Curse originated from Europe and so the biocontrol program started about 30 years ago and we searched for natural enemies that feed on the plant in Europe. And about seven different agents were introduced but six of them have become established. It has different names. It's Patterson's Curse, it's Salvation Jane, it's Riverina Bluebell. Call it whatever it is, it's still good old paddo that will dominate your pastures and create a major problem. And if we don't do something about it, it will get worse. It has a, a toxic effect on, on some animals, particularly horses. It's a major impediment to production. When the bike control agents were brought into the country, they underwent very strict studies to make sure that they were specific to Patterson's Curse and weren't going to attack any of our native plant species. Patterson's Curse is such a prolific cedar and it loves bare ground, particularly after the impact of drought or in the more recent fires. The first thing that it'll grow will be a weed seed. When uh, the landowners grow, uh, sow new pastures, it's very, very hard for those pastures to be able to compete with the paddo. So the biocontrol agents that have been introduced for Patterson's Curse feed on all different parts of the plant, from the roots, the crowns, the stems, and even the flowers. So it's taken many years for these biocontrol agents to actually build up and reach damaging levels. And when they do build up, what we see is that the weed population will gradually decline and they will reach a natural balance between the biocontrol agents and the weed. But then sometimes that balance can become unbalanced. And when you have years of drought, for instance, or if the property is overgrazed or you get bushfires, that can create bare ground and that allows the curse to come up. What happens then is that it looks like the biocontrol agents have stopped working but they're actually still there and you just need to give it some time. You need to get down on your hands and knees and look to see whether you can find the bike control agents. Bike control has no boundaries, uh, so therefore we as Landcare need to be working with landowners and, and Landcare networks and groups uh, to help spread the, uh, the benefits of the biocontrols. controls.